just got here to Montauk. We woke up at three in the morning, drove three hours out here. Let's see if we can find a bunch of bass. That's the goal for this trip. We've got today and tomorrow. First look at the water. Right here, I'm gonna fish behind these boulders a little bit. There's a cormorant and some birds diving right here. Fish right here for a second. Just got this bucktail. Yeah, it's very shallow. So we just got here casting for about 30 minutes. My issue right now is I just think the water's too shallow. I'm not getting any spots where I'm fishing some fuller water. I saw some of these guys standing on rocks catching what looked like to be smaller fish, so working my way over here. Not casting far at all and just cranking the bucktail and I guess these trapers are finding it see we got this wave coming I'm casting right behind it oh look stripers oh I'm on as soon as I hit the water I was about to say there's a bunch of stripers jumping out there another nice little bass skinny bass schooly bite whatever this morning was pretty brutal we didn't find anything Hopefully we can find some bigger fish tomorrow or later today. For now, I'll take these guys, build some morale, because the day's been uh, tough. And we're tight again. Man, it's weird fighting fish around rocks and stuff. Could this be our first slot bass? <laughs> no way. Oh, falling off my rock. That's our biggest one of the day, I'll say. Fork tail right through the lip. Easily come out. Oh, yeah, I don't know. They're all about that size. I'm hoping there's a slot fish in the mess somewhere. It's when you stop, they just pick it up. Me know Bernie is he slot yet not quite right no look how demented he is though he's all demented look at that see that what'd you do go pee or something there was a hit I feel like they're low-key getting bigger. And he spit that one right there. Another one. 
there's one. Striper in the white water. Oh yeah. There we go. That was a lot of drag. What the heck? Come on. And it didn't even look like a big fish. I had just tightened my drag too. Oh, I am rubbing on a rock. Hopefully that's the 80 pound. This one's going on a little run or something. Or he's taking some line. Maybe I loosened my drag. I don't think this fish is that big. Big wave. Oh yeah, this is a much better fish. Nice fish. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Much better fish. Landing my first slot bass here in Montauk. But he's nice. Nice. I was waiting for a good one to hit. Hopefully these guys start coming through. So long, fella. There he is. Another schoolie. The rain started, so I'm sorry if any of that footage is bad. But we just got finished two or three hours. Picked off, I don't know, around a dozen bass. All schoolies, one nicer slot fish. I'm gonna get back out there for the sunset bite. We'll fish the last two hours, three hours of daylight out there and see if anything else comes by. And that'll be it for the day. So let's hope some bigger fish come through to that spot. Whatever bait those fish were eating stays. I have no idea what they were eating. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. This place is stacked. What the fuck? Oh god. Get both of us hurt, motherfucker. See ya. Upwards of 20 fish. I don't know how many I'm gonna show you guys. The majority of those were schoolies. A couple were around 27, 28, and we had one that was probably mid-slot-ish. Yeah, that was the best fish of the day. Still good to see all those fish and catch them on the bucktail. If you ever come to Montauk, make sure your waders ain't leaking. Look at that, that's all water. By the way guys, this is what we were running today. Tsunami Salt X 4000, 30 pound braid. This is an 8.8 .8 Tsunami Airwave Elite, 80 pound mono leader. I got a tactical anglers clip to a one ounce pink SNS bucktail. And that is a pork rind jig strip. Made it out for day two. The water's definitely a little calmer today. Still a lot of big waves. I'm gonna suit up, find a place to fish. Looks pretty good over here in this area. Got all this good white water. Oh, he's on, he's on. I just dropped a rat. I just dropped a rat. Yeah, he just jumped out of the water. Okay. All right, that was the first cast here. Let's take this bucktail off. After that first hit, we've had no more hits. 
That was only about 10 minutes ago. But if there's fish around, and maybe they don't want the bucktail, I'll throw this. There's a two ounce diamond jig. I mean, if we were in Jersey, we would sit here and we would say, nice fish on the diamond jig, baby. Good fish. There we go. How far was that? Not far. First fish of the day. Might be a slot bass, probably a little short. A little lobster carcass. You'll never see that in Jersey. Beat the skunk quickly today. We were watching those birds work. We were waiting for them to come in. Never happened, so off to a new spot. Hopefully we find some fish. I stood on standby for about an hour to let this tide drop. It's dropped significantly. And the good news is there's birds working right in the spot we're trying to fish. So this could be good. Just to lose some weight off my shoulders. I'm not bringing my bag. I got this bucktail from yesterday. If I happen to snag and lose it, I got a brand new one right here. One ounce. These are SNS jigs. I like these. Yeah, there's tails. There's stripers in here. I knew I've been seeing tails. Bro, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. I've been trying to see. Right on that pause. I timed those fish up like I told you guys. Let that tide get lower. We went out there, we were fishing for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Boom, striper tails all over the place. They were in there. I hooked up on one. Bernie hooked up on one. That was like five minutes. Never saw a tail again, never got a bite again. I'm sure those fish will return at some point today. But I got a long ride home back to New Jersey. So I'm just going to call it now instead of waiting it out for some small fish. Just not worth it. So anyways, it was a good time. Caught some fish. I wish there were some bigger ones, but that's going to be it for the Montauk trip, guys. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.